It's the Full Force News Burst Extra, brought to you by GeneralsJoesReborn.com, with me, Christopher McLeod, aka Diagnostic80. Just when you thought today couldn't get any more revealing, possible classified exclusives are leaked. If you thought we'd been spoiled enough with the reveals today from the awesome Hasbro G.I. Joe fan stream, then think again. Yes, the angry collectors on Instagram leaked two possible G.I. Joe exclusives for this year, SDCC exclusive Chuckles with Armoury and a PulseCon exclusive Crimson 3-pack featuring the Baroness and the twins, Tomax and Zaymot. Chuckles was a name only revealed back during the 1027 special live event from last year, so it does track that he could find his way into an exclusive like this. My only confusion is with the Armoury. He doesn't quite feel like a character that would be associated with that per se, but I'm sure that will make sense as we get closer to an official reveal. I would hope he gets a ton of cool spy accessories like a briefcase and so on. As for the Baroness and the twins, this makes sense as a redeco for all involved and of course has precedent in both O-Ring and modern 4-inch form. There there is also a possibility they do something different with the Baroness, but I would expect to see the same figure just in crimson, honestly. Expect blast effects as well and hopefully new ones now that we've seen the same Viper 3 pack set reused three times, counting the Steel Core and Cobra Valkyrie 2 packs. Of course this is all still at a rumour level so you can't take it as gospel just yet, but I can see both of these happening due to the ease with the redecos and for the fun that Chuckles would bring to SDCC. I'm also going to throw in the Arctic Bat we saw today during the snow job reveals because Hasbro were very playful in some of their responses to questions about the appearance. I initially thought it might have been an error, but the way Hasbro had been commenting today, I'm starting to think that it was a planned tease. They also stealthily hid a Python Crimson Guard in the background of one of Bazooka's Dio images, so expect to see that very soon as well. Anyway, what do you guys think? Do you believe we'll be getting these exclusives? Are you excited by any of them? Is that Arctic Bat legit? Let me know in the comments below. OK team, we will be back with more name only reveal deep dives for Quick Kick, Big Boa and Mutton Junkyard, as well as more news, so keep it locked, stay fresh cheese bags, and as always, full force. That's it for this instalment of the Full Force News Burst Extra. Thank you for watching, make sure to like, comment and subscribe, see you next time, and as always, full force. Make sure you get involved with the discussion by liking, sharing and commenting on these videos and as always you can keep up with the show after listening by following on Twitter at The Full Force, liking the Facebook page facebook.com forward slash The Full Force and if you would like to contact the show you can message us on either of those platforms with feedback and questions. We also have a Patreon page so if you want to show your support for the show, see your name up in lights on these videos or enjoy exclusive bonus content then check out patreon.com forward slash the full force podcast or click on the link on any of the posts this podcast appears in full force